This is Science Friday. I'm Ira Flato. We're talking this hour with uh, Dr. James Watson, author of The Annotated and Illustrated Double Helix. You, you write in the preface that you said you wanted to write the double helix to give people a sense of how science is done. Well, I wanted to tell a story. Yeah. Th- yeah. And uh, I never considered the other one. I thought, the st- you know, some stories are dull, but Francis Crick was a big st- just the opposite of a dull person, and uh, Rosalind Franklin wasn't dull, so it was filled with non-dull people. So was it dull when you got into it? When you the first started, you what? You were in your twenties, right? You, how long? How long had you been doing science? Uh, I started doing science when I was effectively twenty. Right. As a graduate school a student of Salvador Luria at Indiana University, and that was you know where. And it took me about two years, uh, you know, being a graduate student with Luria, deciding that I wanted to find the structure of DNA, that his DNA was going to be my objective. Mm-hmm. And then I went off to uh, Copenhagen, hoping to work on DNA. Uh, but then that proved not to be the place to do it. And uh, luckily, I was able to go to Cambridge, England with these, mm-hmm. meet Francis Crick and uh, John Kendrew and Max Bruce. It was a very exciting place. You mentioned Rosalind Franklin, and she's been a, a woman of controversy over your career since the since the discovery. Has she not been? Well, I, you yeah. last time you last time you were uh, you lasted mm-hmm. almost ten years ago when yeah. you were here with me last time. You said that she actually got in your way of discovering the actual structure of DNA. You said, I think your exact words were, "We could have done it faster without her." Oh, I wouldn't say that now because I don't know which way, you know, the, mm-hmm. my arguments. Uh, no, she produced some, uh, uh, you know, very nice X-ray data. Uh, Wilkins had produced earlier data, which we largely used in going after the structure. So if Rosalind hadn't existed, uh, we might have, got, might have got the structure just as fast. But, uh, you know, uh, she was a very intelligent woman, but she, uh, uh, for reasons I still don't know, she didn't want DNA to be a helix. She didn't? No. So, well, she must have been very surprised then when her own picture showed it to be the helix she was not no, expecting I mean, it once to be. No, I mean, once she saw our structure, you know, yeah. she immediately said it was right. So, we never had any arguments afterwards. I think people are upset that they, that they you, you and your team took her picture and did not give her the credit that she deserved. Oh, I don't. I've forgotten the details, so yeah. you know, I don't know how to reply to that. Okay. Except I never felt guilty because she had the photograph for about eight months and didn't you know ever interpret it, mm-hmm. and. Uh, so, you know, we didn't steal the structure. Uh, Morris Wilkins showed it to me. <laughs> so, and once you see it. So I never thought our behavior was uh, in any sense immoral. I thought we were, you know, just driven by the fact we thought DNA was going to be the most important of all biological molecules. And the sooner we knew the structure, the better. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were very pleased, you know, that... Uh, when we got the Nobel Prize uh, that Morris Wilkins shared in it, uh, Rosalind had been dead then for five years. So uh, it would have been a complicated uh, story if there had been four people. You can only give the Nobel Prize to three, and you could have argued mm-hmm. four. So, uh, but you know, it is a sort of the argument doesn't mean much because uh, she was dead, sadly. Yeah, and you know we. Uh, You know, I, I certainly she was not a dislike. I, I think she was uh, had difficulty in seeing social uh, clues and uh, suffered a lot for sort of uh, you know I, I you know I don't know okay uh, all right let me, what let term me. but in any case uh, I don't think Francis Francis liked Rosalind Rosalind you know went when she was dying she went and stayed in the Crick's house so uh, you know that's all I can say is I don't think she thought we took advantage of her.